Hi, it's Alex from Tutoring Heroes again, and today we're going to look at some maths together. Let's go and take a look and see what we're doing. So we're going to look at multiplication using the long method. This is the method you use after the compact method if you now have more than one digit in the second number. So I've got a two digit by a two digit number. So it's going to be like the compact method, but there's just going to be an extra stage. It's sort of like the compact method and the expanded method kind of joined together. So first of all, it says write out your calculation in the tens and units columns. So 20, oh, excuse me, 20, two tens and three units multiplied by four tens and five units equals. I then multiply the bottom unit by both of the top numbers. So five times three units is 15, and I'm gonna carry that 10 into the tens column. Some people like to carry the tens up at the top, some at the bottom, I find it easier at the bottom. You can do whichever one you prefer. Then I'm gonna do five multiplied by two tens. I can just think of this as two times five, and that's going to be 10. Add the extra 10 down here, which is 11. I'm now going to multiply the bottom 10, and I'm gonna start a new row here. And because I'm going to be doing the four tens, because it's tens, I have a placeholder of zero, so that I know that I'm actually not just multiplying by four, I'm multiplying by 10. So then I do four tens by three, so four times three is 12, and I carry that over into the next column, into the hundreds column, because I've got two there, and then the 100 there from the 12, and then four tens by two tens, or just four times two, equals eight, plus this extra one is nine. I'm almost finished. I've done, this row here is five times 23, and this row here is 40 times 23, and I now need to combine my answers. So I'm gonna use column addition to add these two rows together. So five add zero units equals five, two add one ten is three tens, and nine add one hundred equals ten hundreds, which actually equals a thousand. If you want to, you can cross these out as you go along if you've added them so you don't get confused. So the answer is one thousand and thirty five. And that is the long method when you have two digit by a two digit number for multiplication. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.